I finished a project yesterday I wanted to share. Um, I wanted to do uh, an altered frame. I've really been watching a lot of um, altered art videos on YouTube and um, was really inspired to try my hand at altered art. So um, I've had this frame in my stash for maybe a year. I bought it at Michael's. It's one of just the plain wooden frames. Um, they only cost a dollar. So you know, if you're interested in trying out some altered art, it's not that much that you're investing to play around a little bit. So um, I had this great picture of myself and my three sisters. Uh, it was taken in New Orleans on Bourbon Street, and we were out for a sister's day out, just the four of us. It was really nice, and I wanted to do the frame for that. So um, what I did is I gessoed the frame with um, Liquitex white gesso, and um, this word right here, sisters, was another wooden piece I also got at Michael's. It was um, no more than a dollar, and so I gessoed it as well. Then I took some Silks acrylic glaze um, paints that I bought uh, last year at Scrapbook Expo. I, I did a make and take at their booth, loved their products, bought the paints, have had them for a year and haven't used them. So finally I played around with those. Um, this purple color that goes down this side is uh, pomegranate and it looks a little more pink right here and I think that's because I Mod Podge down a piece of a doily that so you can see the texture here from the doily and I think the Mod Podge may have given it um, change the color a little bit so you'll see it's a darker purple and then it comes down into this kind of pinkish color and then um, then I used their sunflower uh, across here to get the yellow in there I thought these are great kind of New Orleansy type colors and then up this side of the frame I painted with um, fire opal which I really love that color it's um, kind of a pinky peachy color and then again the yellow in the center that just kind of blends these two colors into each other um, this flower here in the center is a prima flower uh, these two small roses here, as well as my small yellow rose here, another small purple rose, if I can get that in frame, down there, and then this orange rose and this brown rose. I got all of those flowers at um, Scrapbook Expo last year, so I'm not really sure what brand they are. They were just in a grab bag that I got at one of the booths. And then I used some more Prima flowers, which is this yellow spray going down along this side is Prima. Um, this flower right here is Prima. It was white and I painted it with the Fire Opal Silks Glaze. This white leaf is Prima. And this big beautiful flower right here is Prima. I've had it in my stash at least a year, maybe two. I've been just waiting for the right time to use it. Um, but it's this beautiful gold um, color. The beads in the center matched the paints and everything already perfectly. And then I used some metal accents on here as well. Back here, this metal flower that the purple rose is on, this is from Momenta. And I just glued the purple rose in the center and then the metal was actually a little bit darker than this. It's, it's kind of shiny and lightened up a bit because I used um, yellow alcohol ink on it. So. I didn't want it to be yellow because that would have been, I think, just too much right here, but I did want to brighten it up a little, and I think that that did that. And then over here, it is, again, a picture taken in New Orleans, so this is, little fleur de -lis charm is by Tim Holtz. Up here in this corner, I've got two metal pieces, um, the flourish and the little flower. These are both by Momenta, and all the Momenta pieces I believe I also got at Michael's. Um, these were silver, silver, excuse me, and um, this one I turned green by using alcohol ink in pesto. The flower I used alcohol ink in wild plum and it just matched the paint perfect. And then I just added some gold stickles on the leaves and in the center of it. Um, the little sticker is um, Paper House Productions and I got that I think at... It could have been Michael's, it may have been Hobby Lobby, I don't really remember where I got the sheet, but I had purchased some New Orleans stickers for um, our trips that we take down there. Uh, one of my sisters lives in Louisiana, so we um, are down there quite a bit, or, well, or at least used to be. Uh, I haven't been back in um, 
probably been two years since I've been back. But uh, anyways, I've had the stickers in my stash. And so I put the Bourbon Street sticker here because we were on Bourbon Street when the photo was taken. So that is my altered frame from a plain $1 wooden frame to this frame for our photo. And so I hope you enjoyed my video and that if you are thinking of doing any altered art projects that, um, you know, this is a great place to start. The frame is not very expensive, only a dollar. So you can get out your stencils and your modeling paste and your paints and just um, play around and see what you come up with.